Hello, this is Mary Robinson Reynolds, and thank you for a few minutes of your time to visit with you about my Make a Difference with the Power of Acknowledgement program. Now, when I got started in business, I'll tell you one thing. I did not have any idea what I was getting myself into. I came out of education. I pretty much had my own little area to focus on. I pretty much functioned like an entrepreneur. I just did my thing, spent as much time as it took to get it done, did it well, and then I went home and began the next day. When I got into business and I hired employees for the first time, uh, I will admit to you, I was shocked. <laughs> because not everybody showed up for work the same way that I did and um, so I was really brand new with this idea of how to communicate, how to have boundaries, how to reinforce uh, guidelines and integrity and uh, have people really follow what it was that I was asking them to do. Um, I found that in education, when I was working with students and children and families and uh, in, in the ways that I was, I was very effective uh, because I had a lot of compassion and understanding uh, and patience because, I mean, after all, they were children, they were adolescents, uh, uh, there were issues going on in their lives. But when I got into the workplace, uh, my own business, and it's my own money, uh, I was had to grow up pretty fast. In fact, the first couple of years in business, I think I pretty much earned my PhD. I had uh, received an inheritance so that I could build my business, write my books, get my products out there. So I hired uh, a group of people, my, my dream team, to support me. Uh, so while well, I went out and did a 10-city tour with my first book, um, and it was a, a, an eye-opener and it was great from the standpoint that I had to really stretch and grow myself and how I was coming across and how I was communicating and one of the largest pieces of this was that I was kind of hung up in they should know better instead of doing the very thing that worked with at-risk kids and at-risk families and at-risk situation, uh, I needed to apply in my own business uh, and that was to acknowledge and bring them along and uh, I didn't do that. Uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't reach for that. I was just so in shock about everything that was happening and money was flying out the door so fast and before I knew it, it was all gone. And I had uh, come all the way back from the middle of my Kansas City tour to begin again. And it was in those moments that uh, a good friend and colleague of mine just explained to me that I had just gotten the best lesson in business I could ever get. And what I was going to do with it next was what was going to matter and what was going to be important. And so what I did is I, I looked at what who I was, how I showed up, how I couldn't really articulate what I really wanted, and my attitudinal perception that they should know better. Uh, when there was a lot of different things going on, different personality styles, different un, uh, neurological understandings of what needed to happen in this business, and um, I, I, I failed at the lead. I just did. And... So we can always take failure and we can turn it into an opportunity. So over the next 20 years of studying the book industry, the book publishing industry, which is the industry I'm in, uh, I also became a professional speaker, uh, a trainer, and I developed other teams along the way. One of which was uh, as I was out speaking around the country, as an independent contractor with National Seminars Group out of Kansas City, Missouri, um, I also started into a network marketing organization. And it was something that I was very much aligned with. It was about success television and where speakers and authors such as myself would have their daily um, shows, uh, our programs. And so I was out selling that. I did very well, my husband and I did very, very well in it, but we got to experience having thousands in our 
uh, business in our it was it referred to as a downline our business associates and so I now had that next level of experience with a lot of people coming in doing their work their business in a lot of different ways that again didn't look like the way that I did business the way that I showed up for business and for my life and so um, we were doing very well I think because at this time we did have that key piece about really appreciating people and acknowledging them and I was actually re recognized two years in as being the top in the top 50 producers of that company so I got to go on stage and accept my award um, and then shortly thereafter that company dissolved into another company and it was not a company that we uh, were aligned with so we continued on in uh, pursuing our business it's my husband's in my business now uh, but I have been at the lead of that this entire time because I'm the author and I'm the creator and the producer of all the material and he functions as the uh, everything technological, administrative, and um, anything that has anything to do with a computer. <laughs> so, so, but the point I'm making here is that my experience delved not only to my own employees but then into a network marketing company with thousands of people to communicate with and and uh, really get things across to and what I will tell you is that it's no different than any other business situation people come in they're disgruntled they're unhappy uh, they're happy they've got the dream now they don't they're high now they're not um, and there's a lot of backstabbing that goes on because people are always pointing fingers and judging other people. And so what I have found very specifically with these very disturbing kinds of experiences is that one thing neutralizes it all every single time. And that is, is if you can just step back long enough to look at the person who's disgruntled, who's spreading the news negatively, who's having an upset time, who doesn't like how you're doing it, if you can just step back and remember to find something about them that you deeply appreciate, that you honestly can acknowledge, you start there. And you do it, and you do it, and you do it again. And so the purpose of this program is to bring acknowledgement as a practice into your business. So whether you have, you're a Fortune 500 company, whether you're an employee, administrator, uh, a manager, a director, uh, the owner, as I was, uh, I'll tell you, life changes quickly when you make this one little, one little piece of appreciation to acknowledge and value people. Everything shifts and change, and people will bend over backwards for you if you just do this one thing. And it was uh, kind of a rough road for me uh, from the beginning, but once I caught on to what was really important to people, um, I I I've never forgotten. But even more importantly than that is what it gives back to the person giving. Uh, you cannot give a compliment or acknowledge another and not feel good. Uh, about having done that when it's authentic. Now this is not a program about rewards and recognition and trinkets and bells and whistles and uh, because you know there's always those people, those very excellent producing people at the top of every organization who just get that all the time and I'm telling you that you're missing the gold in your organization if you're not making it a point to acknowledge every single person because you don't know you don't know what genius will come from people who you have just reached out and touched and acknowledged and so what I did in this program is I took all this experience from my own personal business uh, from 20 years ago clear up to today today I'm dealing with uh, 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 with contractors all over the world all over the world and our, our subscriber base you know 50% of it is international and so we're dealing with every conceivable kind of communication uh, 
that's necessary to bring people, to keep people, to work with people, to heal people. And, and it always begins with the power of acknowledgement. And it's at that point that you then connect. Or at the point of compassion that you then connect and then can acknowledge, but you've got to connect. Or people just fall away and they go away or, or they go out and do disturbing things that uh, were really unnecessary if, if we just took a moment and found something to acknowledge. Um, one of the practices that I believe very firmly is is that as you go about your day uh, to acknowledge three people. When I was getting my master's degree in college I had a, a an instructor who was also my counselor because I was getting a counseling degree I got free counseling. And it was at a very hard point in my life where I was pretty much looking for love in all the wrong places. And um, I, I, I wasn't happy with how I was conducting myself. And he, he basically explained to me that being raised in an um, Irish-German family was pretty stoic. Uh, and there wasn't a lot of touching going on. No hugs, no kisses, no... Uh, excessive I love you's. It was just, just pretty stoic and you just kind of knew that you know you're loved and that's the way it is. Well I needed touch and I in my life and I and so I was calling out for that. So he said I was to go out and touch three people a day. Uh, touch them, pat them on the back, pat you know touch them, reach out, acknowledge them in some way either touch with my energy or with my um, my hands. Uh, of course, asking permission, uh, you know, because you don't want to run out and touch a bunch of people without, you know, who don't know you. But just, you know, reach out with people that you know. And, and it was painful for me. It was emotionally, physically, psychologically painful for me. But because he gave me an assignment to do it, I did it. And, uh, man, you'd think that was just the hardest thing I ever had to do. But day after day, as I was going to work and going to activities and things like that, I made a mental note that I had to reach out and touch someone, acknowledge someone three times a day. Well, my life changed. Uh, and, and that problem that I had had uh, in how I was conducting myself in relationships changed on a dime. And I was giving myself the, the individual connection that I needed by acknowledging and reaching out and touching others. And so I, I learned this very early, but then applying it, you know, uh, applying it in business, well, I did. And it has made all the difference in the world from the time that I was in network marketing then out into the world speaking. I traveled in, to every major city in the United States. I just, at one period of time, I, about a two-year period in time, I spoke to over 20,000 people. I've mentioned that before. But that's a lot of people. And that's a lot of people to touch and to uh, connect with. And yet, um, that has an experience in each industry, each business, each stage I walked on, it, it's all the same. We're all people. We're all the same. And we really all just need a little acknowledgement to know that we matter, that know that we have value, and that we make a difference in somebody's life. So what I did with this program, very specifically, because I've been in every major industry, I've been in your boardrooms, I've been at your in-service meetings, so I know you can make time. Uh, you know, that is, of course, possibly the number one thing that you're thinking about right now is, do I have the time to do this program with my group? Well, here's, here's a way you can look at it. First of all, is if your business is in a place of crisis, like there's a reorganization going on. And I always like to think of reorganization as moving us to a higher level, to a better level. Research has shown that the number one reason for negativity, uh, discontentment, disgruntled employees is uh, change. I received an email from Dr. Ivan Meisner. And he is the founder of BNI, which is the Business Networking International. 
and he wrote, we were experiencing a very challenging time within the organization and it was important for us to recognize those people who have truly helped us make a difference in what we do and how we do it. The I Make a Difference wristbands and stickers were very powerful and meaningful way for us to express our gratitude for their contributions. The process had amazing results in people's attitudes. And so what this program does is it has an amazing result on people's attitudes. I basically take you through field tested um, activities, strategies, movies with a message, discussion questions, and I, I bring people along in a way that helps them lower their defenses so that they can hear and see with eyes of understanding what's going on for everyone in the group other than them. You know, one of the best ways out of a funk is to start doing something for somebody else, is to get out there and to acknowledge someone else in the, uh, the next cubicle over or the, the next office up. You know, is get out of your space and get out there and do something for somebody else. And I'll tell you what, by the end of this training, people will want to be acknowledging people. It'll become a habit. It takes about 30 days to develop a new habit. And depending on how you implement this program, depending on the needs of your company, whether it's immediate and urgent or whether you build it out over a period of time, it will still have the impact on people's lives. These are life-changing activities. I put a, a safety net in on every lesson, every session that you want to take them through. You get to decide. You know your people. And uh, I just invite you to be open to the possibilities and the, the kinds of discussions that will take place because you're asking, because you're putting them in the same room together, and because you're acknowledging each and every one as having an important uh, uh, contribution to make to this business organization. So what I want you to do is I want you to look below at the graphic with the notebook that says business and I want you to click on that and that's going to take you to the next link and in that link you're going to see how many different ways you can design this program just for you that includes the wristbands and the stickers you'll get six movies you'll get PowerPoint presentation slides and the you training coach program now that's not all I'm going to give you I'm going to give you this training. You get to see it. You get to read it. You don't get to print it out until you invest in it, but you get to read everything that I put in here so you can see for yourself if this is something that you can see yourself getting out there and doing and uh, delivering. So thank you for giving me this time to explain the basis of this program the journey that I've been on that's brought me to an understanding of the most powerful thing I can possibly do, that you can possibly do, that any of us can possibly do, is stop in the moment and find something, something that we can honestly acknowledge in another individual. And we make a difference when that happens. Thank you.